my name is Wes Rambo, and this is Weight Slammers versus Team Rush, losers bracket semifinal of the Manitoba Esports League CSGO tournament. Uh, and we're gonna get it going. We have um, signing mouse pads in Kulas Nation, who are playing in the winners bracket uh, to determine who the winner of this match will face um, uh, uh, coming up. And of course, that those two teams are for sure our front runners. So the winner of this match gets an opportunity to play a very, very difficult match in order to see who is going to get a chance at those finals. So uh, this uh, uh, Weight Slammers has chosen Inferno, I believe, and it is Team Rush who has chosen um, uh, what is the map? Oh, Overpass for, for the uh, second map. And we're already in the pistol round after much ado. Uh, Weight Slammers did have to bring in a substitute for this particular game. Uh, that is Godspeed, so we'll see if Godspeed is able to bring in any firepower that Weight Slammers might have needed before. Uh, but we will see about that. Now we have the pistol round and we're just seeing Team Rush coming in to uh, towards A, but Cheese has already been taking, taken out. Weight Slammers uh, has gotten another pick, so it looks like they're going to approach A here. Only players remaining are coming from B on the side of Team Rush, and so we'll see if they can do any sort of retake here. Low health on a couple of players. The dog definitely in a little bit of danger, but Price has been taken out as well. Trophy Man also going to run into a trap there. John 117, the only one alive, and isn't able to get anything done. That's the pistol round going over to Weight Slammers. Now, uh, we are going to see how this plays out. Like I said, Godspeed, totally unknown here. Already has secured one frag. Uh, but, yeah, we, we've seen both of these teams sort of fluctuate in how they were doing and how they were playing against each other. They've seemed relatively evenly matched. And, by the way, our decider, if we do go there, is Nuke, which is going to be very exciting. I think it may be the first time we've seen Nuke in our league, so that would be really, really cool, obviously, of very highly tactical map based uh, not so much around individual fragging power and so you always are interested to see how that uh, how something like that works out in the game uh, at this level where you know it's sort of multi uh, level players and not the professional uh, level and so then it really becomes you know who has prepared properly and who can work together as a team so really excited to see that and Panda already going to take down Trojan Man. This round is not going to do much. Uh, th there isn't going to be much in favor of Team Rush. He does get, managed to get a headshot there. That's something. And this is something Team Rush often does, where they um, and they don't just not buy in the second round if they lose pistol. They, they don't buy anything. They don't even buy, you know, armor or a p250 or any utility that they don't buy anything they want to fully save we know how dangerous cheese can be if he manages to get that off but actually john 117 has uh, made this into a bit of a uh, around here that bomb is still taking down but he's feeling yeah not going to let him get away with that but that's quite a bit of damage done actually uh by team rush over to the side of weight slammers there uh, just with the usps so Impressive work there by Cheese and John117 to get a couple of kills back. But as I said, uh, Team Rush really more so wanting to invest. And looks like they are going to fully force up here. We see the SMGs, shotguns coming through. Hamas purchased by John117 and Cheese. So we'll see if they can get anything done here. Cheese has bought that Nova. And that is going to be very, very useful if Cheese can get a couple of kills. Get towards that op. We know how effective he is on it, like I said. Of AKs so bought by Wade Looks like they are going to approach the banana area. That's Yev already taking down Price there with a nice shot, more or less through the smoke, or through the Molotov smoke, as it were. And uh, Panda lining up a smoke here to see about this execute. But it looks like this is going to be a fake. Panda's going to run out and make some noise while they uh, head more to the area. Helium does get an aggressive peek onto Cheeks, catches them on the rotate, so that's really nice because Molotov has slowed them down, so they're gonna have to wait. Now they're approaching, but Helium, very low health. Only one bullet would take him down, so we'll see if they're able to get. No, it looks like Team Rush actually is going to uh, give this bomb site up. And so, you know, with the low range weapons they've got, it seems very, very unlikely they'll be able to do any sort of retake. And oh, 
no, misses the shot, only gets a little bit of damage down onto Yev. And that was a critical kill to give away. And so now, yes, it is going to just be Team Rush backing off, saving what little weaponry they have. Uh, a little bit too bad. Um, neither of them will be able to buy head armor without spending the full thousand here, but they're both going to hide out with construction there. The third round is going to go to Weight Slammers. And since that force happened, uh, it's not going to be a full buy once again for Team Rush. Round four, but Cheese does have enough for an off, so we'll see. Oh, so close there to getting another kill, but uh, we'll see if Cheese does go for that as his team will be on inferior weaponry. And yes, indeed, he does, so that's going to be the op, and we'll see if Cheese can make something happen there. But uh, for now, Yevk and Felium so far uh, doing the legwork for the most part, and Weight Slammers getting a lot of critical kills and just getting a lot of frags in general there. Now, Weight Slammers has got tried to get banana control so far every single round, and it's been working out for them just to get that presence, even though they haven't actually gone B any of the rounds. Here's the cheese. Now it is three people in price. Ten sandbags, but Felium will not be fooled by that. Does take him down. So that's only going to be two remaining on the B site. And it looks like the bomb is moving in that direction. So Weight Slammers potentially are going to get more than they bargained for, but once again, they have to stop Every single round, a dog takes down Cheeks, and the key thing here is Weight Slammers are winning the gunfights in these rounds. Even if, you know, the Team Rush is in the right position, they just don't get that, don't get those headshots uh, when both players become exposed. So, now, we do see the bomb towards mid, and this is Yev holding it, and, uh, Go. There's Trojan in his location and is going to him also did a lot of damage there to the dog, but both will be taken down now. John 117, the only one left with cheese, was also taken out. Now, the dog is very low, so if John 117 can isolate him, that could be something, but it looks like he's only interested in in uh, saving this FAMAS here as Panda has recovered that op and will hold an angle so there's the dog running around looking for candy wrappers on the ground in the bomb site and they are going to hide in the corner and round four once they get to weight slammers so it's really really looking good uh, team rush seems to have absolutely no answer and like i said big thing is just gunfights are being lost here by, way, by Team Rush, they're just, you know, when two people peak, Weight Slammers are inevitably getting the kills more often than not. So we'll see if that continues or if Team Rush is able to pull it back here. You know, we have seen them as a team that does sometimes take a little while to get warmed up and then they get a few rounds later on in the game. But if Weight Slammers can create too much of an advantage here on the T side of Inferno, which you know, isn't known to be particularly favored on this map and we are going to see if team rush will be able to recover but i just want to thank everybody everybody who has more recently for joining us as yev gets taken down that's actually by john 117 but the dog trades it out just want to thank everybody for joining. We have a skeleton crew. Shout out to Rudy. Ooh, Cheese with the peak. Shout out to Rudy. And Cheese has uh, uh, recovered an AWP. We do both testing uh, and casting here at the same time. But shout out to Rudy for pushing the buttons and uh, setting all of this up on very, very short notice, I must say. And uh, shout out to all the teams for being patient as we got this set up. We want to stream as many games as possible, no matter what. Uh, the most important thing to us is to show you some League of Legends and some Counter-Strike. And next season, of course, is some Valorant. And if we have to do that with just a couple of people pushing some buttons on OBS, that's what we'll do. Here's Cheese, now waiting for this push. And there's Feely. I'm going to be able to get Cheeks in pit there. And so it will be present. Ooh, a headshot right on the wall there. Godspeed coming in with the substitution and a couple of nice kills there from him. Price the only one left. And he has already decided to save. Uh, sitting way back there, tucked in the back of the B-bomb site. So even though it, it is low health on some of the members of Weight Slammers, Price absolutely does not fancy this.
seeing some banter in the chat from somebody who's joining next season. I can't wait to see you play. And uh, you can uh, you can be confident against Team Russian Weight Slammers, but we'll see if you are singing the same tune when you see Signing Mouse Pads and Kulas Nation play later on. In any case, though, one of these teams will have the opportunity to prove themselves to the likes of those two teams. And that is what they are competing for today. So we continue to see Filium and Yevk doing a lot of legwork here, but a nice 2K there from Godspeed was able to secure the A bomb site. And 5 0 is now the score here for Weight Slammers. And so we will see if Team Rush can get anything going. It does seem that they're, they're able to just get this banana control. And, you know, you'd hope for maybe some Molotovs there to. To prevent such an aggressive approach, you do have a close Molotov, but a deep Molotov could perhaps allow Team Rush to get a bit more map control, which really is what they're suffering from now. Weight Slammers is just able to peak very aggressive angles because they've already cleared enough. And on Inferno, that's such an important task. John117 has sat on top of the boxes here, and we'll see if that position does surprise them. Here's Godspeed, the Molotov. Will not find anybody. Oh, jeez, dust gets spammed through the smoke. That is really, really important. But John 117 does trade it back. Price as well. Crossfire. Yevk taken down. Price. John 117 trades that one out. So now it's down to a 2v2 as a couple of members are also taken out over in the A site. Now it is all on B, and this bomb is way out in the open. But there's no member of Team Rush to actually. Uh, directly cover it Here's John 117. and john 117 does take it down a little bit of a scuffed spray coming through here and uh that definitely is going to be a little bit rough for both sides but john 117 comes out from uh on with the advantage in that particular gunfight now, the dog coming back and the dog does take down panda or the, the dog does take down john 117 the dog that is such a tongue twister to say uh cheeks now the only one left to cover the bomb the dog is going to reverse position and there's cheeks putting team rush on the board with their first round so that is team rush finally getting some ground here and they have a little bit of money to spend it's going to be a bit of an awkward buy for the likes of trojan man and price but john 117 does buy the op and cheese is going to be gifted that one and so really really uh excellent here for team rush but we have to remember that weight slammer still is on full guns full utility and full full stop is that shot coming in onto cheese i thought i had a better uh, metaphor there to uh to continue with with my casting but i did not and so we'll just say that cheese got killed there in the op duel and uh that's unfortunate because he has not been able to get much going with this op so far in this game and so the dog is the one to get the better of him that's a 4v5 already heavily benefiting weight slammers you always uh say that a uh five Definitely benefits the T's more than the CT's. Now John 117. Take down Godspeed. Here's Cheek spraying through the smoke. Does finally manage to take down Panda, but has dropped very low in HP. Here's Felium now. Around the corner and catches the shot off guard, but misses the shot. Repeaks to get it, but did take quite a bit of damage. A 3v3 now. Cheeks, remember, on very low HP, but has tucked himself down into pit. They have to be aware of this, as he did get a kill from there and couldn't have rotated. Here's Felix. But Cheeks does take him down. Yevk is able to trade that one back, but they should not have let him get any more kills from that position. Now here's Price. Blank. Price is going to catch Yevk looking the other way, and it's only the dog with only an off on his side. This is the shot. He does hit the leg, but Trojan Man will come in with the crossfire and a lovely work uh, coming through there from Team Rush on that retake. So that is definitely a, uh, a, a more hope for Team Rush as two rounds uh, now have been taken in a row. Uh, really great work from them, and we'll see if this is the be indeed the beginning of, a, of some sort of comeback. They continue to buy that off for cheese, and this is what I like. Uh, I, I like when a player, even if a couple of rounds don't go his way with the op, 
Uh, I like when a player continues to go with it instead of saying, oh, it's not my day, I, I need to use a rifle, because that's just, that that takes away some of what Cheese brings to your team, you know? We've already seen how he can take over a game with the off, and, you know, just a couple of missed rounds should not be enough to uh, to dissuade you from trying that. So I like they're going back to this and actually being William there on pistols only. So Cheese with uh, an opening entry with the off in mid does manage to take down Godspeed, so that rifle will be passed over to Felium. Uh, I've got a, a request in the chat to hit tab so we can see the ping. I'm not sure if we're able to do that. Uh, we don't have a, a dedicated observer in this particular game. Uh, I'll hit tab now and, and check for you. Uh, looks like everybody's ping is sitting around a mean of 25 or 30, so uh, people are pretty much seeing what they're seeing in this game. But Panda does come out. That's three quick kills on the entry. Really, really nice work there coming in for Weight Slammers, and they are going to get the plant as, once again, the two B players are the only players remaining, and we'll see if they are able to do anything. Uh, Philium has two HP. It always seems he... Ends up on low HP, but once again, Team Rush have to save. So they are not going to continue the win streak. Uh, instead, they will just save the two rifles here. And Weight Slammers will move to six round wins on Inferno. And uh, like I said before, Inferno, uh, you know, the T side of Inferno is a difficult side to play. You know, you're not particularly guaranteed any rounds. So it's really impressive that Weight Slammers are able to amass uh, a good amount of rounds here, and, you know, in a, in a fashion that looks like they could easily get more. So we'll see if that is the case. Now, Team Rush going to figure out exactly what kind of a buy they're going to uh, attempt here. And it is Cheese back on the Nova. So Cheese, really, it's op or nothing. It's JW style for Cheese. Uh, <laughs> going in on this game and a couple of nades and they keep throwing those nades but uh, you know you really need molotovs to actually secure any sort of control in that banana and so far team rush just has not been able to do that all is silent for a moment Great slammers Consider where it is they want to pounce. You see three over towards Banana, but the bomb is sitting way over towards A Apartments. So, we'll see if Team Rush does buy this fake. They are still leaving Cheeks over on the A site. Cheeks uh, posted up in pit as usual. Bomb now has got towards balcony, but still no movement. And I like this from Weight Slammers. It's not something you always do. These late holds. Price and Price has now taken down Godspeed, but Team Rush, excuse me, has is somewhat wise to back this game. Cheeks, however, already managing to take down uh, one player. Trojan Man. Oh no, Trojan Man gets taken down directly through the smoke. Felium with a nice pre fire there. John 117. Here, able to get tucked away, and that smoke isn't going to help at all. As Felium does peek out, to these low health members and is managing to take another one out. This is a nice approach here from John117. Only one left is Yevk, who has got the op, and uh, they are going to bait him out. Here's the peek from Yevk. We'll see if they're able to trade. John117 gets taken down. Now it's just the diffuser. Price is going to flash. That is going to hit him, but he is in such a terrible position. Yevk has got this dead to rights here. He misses the first shot, and Yevk is able to get another shot as Price also misses. So a really, really rough retake there coming through, but it does go to Weight Slammers in the end with some nice positioning there from Yevk, and uh, they managed to get a really good bomb plant. It was unfortunate for Team Rush that they both approached from that side as they weren't able to get any sort of flank or any sort of, you know, split focus there from Yev. Sort of had to peek him one at a time, unfortunately. And that's uh, not what you want against the top. So, 7-2 in the first And here's Panda already with an aggressive peek. And John117 gets taken down. There's Cheese and Cheeks getting taken down as well. 
Beautiful work there by Weight Slammers. They are really looking dominant. I, I like the confidence of Weight Slammers here. And it's just going to increase as they continue to win these rounds. That's 8-2 in the favor of Weight Slammers. And uh, topping off the scoreboard is Yevgenfilium, but the dog has started to approach. They're generally putting the op on the dog, although it looks like this round it could go on Yev. Meanwhile, here's Cheese getting an op of his own. This is another full buy for Team Rush. And we'll see what this does. Here's Cheese with a really aggressive peek, but actually does miss the shot. He's going to go again, but actually wasn't able to get that one. And we saw a jumping Cheese. No, very close, but Panda with the headshot. Really, really nice work. And Yev takes down Trojan, man. And I like the aggression there for Cheese. But <laughs> it was not going to pay off. You got to hit that first flick there. Uh, and he did not manage to. So that is going to be Weight Slammers probably taking another round for free. Although they still haven't managed to get access to a bomb site here. And they're splitting their focus again. They keep doing this where it's two or three over to one side and then the bomb to the other. And it looks like this time they may have sold it. Team Rush has fully rotated out of B, and this has to be. Yeah, especially, there you go, Helium taking down John. And once they hear that bomb go down and realize it's a B, uh, Team Rush are going to realize they have no chance to get back into this round. So, Team Rush, after throwing, you know, light fake after light fake, they throw light fake in this particular round. And uh, Cheek's still looking around, wondering where everybody is, looking at the dead bodies of his fallen comrades and realizing it's on the other side of the map. So we'll see if they're able to go for any exits. It actually is Cheeks uh, holding that banana position does manage to get a Molotov, so that's a, that's a nice work there. And yeah, God's feel they both go down to that. So a nice play there by Cheeks to throw that Molotov. Uh, really good timing. But, unfortunately, it will still be the round going over to Weight Slammers. And only a couple of guns taken away. And if you look across at the money that Weight Slammers has accrued, they are not in any position to be worried about losing a couple of guns. Easily able to buy those back up. Almost maxed out on money where they last round. And she's once again on the Nova. It's just with Nova and AK, or Nova and Op all day long. That was a missed Molotov though by Wasteland. So we're gonna have to slow down this particular push. Uh, I, I appreciate the Cheeks redemption arc in the chat here, but that redemption arc may have another episode or another installment as the dog gets the headshot. And once again, just two or three to a bomb site. Weight Slammers totally splitting focus and just taking aim duels and winning. Uh, it, it is Team Rush who is just not able to get a foothold at all in this game. We'll see if Cheese can change that with the Nova. And Price is able to trade him one more. There is Panda, and actually Price does get taken. Price does take down Panda, and Cheese gets Godspeed. So that's a four v five, one of the first that they've found. John one seventeen taking up field. Looks like Rush are able to do something here. Trojan Man gets the dog, and Yevka will have to save his op. Yevka is approaching A though, and it looks like potentially there might be a um, <laughs> might be an attempt here at a one v four. I think it might be worth it. But there's a flash. Interesting thing there. As the off is dropped down on the ground, Trojan Man going to be tapped. Price gets taken down with the peak. Yev is down to half HP and is going to jump down. Down though. Yev is at 3 HP. Here's John117 who will finally. AK. John117 going to pick up that op to drop to cheese later. No, actually, they don't pick up the op in the end. And uh, I think he might have thought he was holding it, but uh, actually was holding an AK. So they are going to have to buy that. In the end, Cheese luckily did get a Nova kill, so uh, got a bit of money in the bank there. And 
That is one more round. I, I have to say, it feels like Team Rush needs, needs them all in this half in order to have any real chance against Weight Slammers in the following half, but we'll see. Team Rush generally, and despite their name, generally looks better on the CT side. Uh, now, Cheese has already got Actually, Price got a really nice peek there and uh, an instant headshot on the run by. So it is an advantage, but that will be realized. The dog comes in, but Cheeks trading him out with an off angle. And does Cheeks feel like he wants to get the off here? He's got the bomb down. He's going to throw the grenade in, and that's going to actually hit the dog hard. John117 is taken out. It's <laughs> the spam does come through. Through the smoke, his cheeks dispatched. So that's 10 rounds here to Wade Slammer. Team Rush had that, but a couple of errant peaks took them out of the round. John117, the only one really able to get anything going here. Cheese with a couple of shots here and there, but not enough. And it is the double op setup for Wade Slammers. Dog takes down cheese. Oh no, he had the op. It seems every time he goes for that mid peak, he just gets eliminated. The dog has a really good handle on exactly what he needs to do there. But Trojan Man's going to pick up the op now, and we'll see uh, what happens with that peak in mid. Well, uh, our directed camera is interested in what Cheeks is doing over in pit. But Price is going to be the one defending. Trojan Man actually does take down Godspeed, so is going to be a nice play by him and equalizes that round. And we'll see what Wade Slammers do on the 4v4. Now the dog going up close with the op. Panda peeking banana and getting a headshot for his troubles. Uh, Price has been taken down to 41 HP as well though. There's Price with the peek and actually has to swing wide and able to get purchase on to Panda there so Nice job there from him, taking it down to a 4v3. Here's Cheeks with the and holds his uh, trigger for a moment. Finally taking down Felium, but the trigger did not pay off as Yevk takes him down. Yevk also takes down Price. Beautiful work from the op, and it is two ops, so if John117 can get close, he may be able to find this, but it is going to be very interesting. The initial peaks, and yeah, that is not the wide swing you want against the op from Pit there. Yev making no mistake uh, with that particular shot. 11 to 3, one round left in the half, and Weight Slammers dominant in this game, especially Yev sitting on 17 and 6. And it just looks so good for Weight Slammers. Team Rush just, like I said, not able to get any particular, you know, any purchase on this game, any, any uh, momentum at all need to sit back and be finally weight slammers does send all five towards the bomb site but the dog has backed off with the off feeling to smoke this off while cheese rotates over over towards Hawkins. Let's see if that peak does come in cheese is and misses godspeed she's not on this game although the re peak does yield fruit and there's Godspeed going down, 5v4 now for Team Rush. And Weight Slammers are going to continue to approach B here. No, Jeff actually takes the bomb away. They are going to leave a couple there. I like what Weight Slammers is doing there. Team Rush is so unsure of where the bomb's going every single round. They've got to play so passively that Weight Slammers is given a lot of map control. They have used it well. The dog falls and feeling with the entry onto Trojan Man. These wide swings are not being punished at all by the side of Team Rush. Now she is sitting in library with the op. A lot of weight on his shoulders this round. Oh, the dog! Really nice shot coming in with the fast peak there. Cheese had no chance. And Panda flashing himself, but he will continue to get the flank. And he, uh, that actually was a flash coming in. 117 takes down the dog, but the trade comes in, and Felium will close out the half. 12 to 3 for Weight Slammers.
And yeah, that is so, so dominant there coming in from them. It, it is going to be very, very difficult for Team Rush to come back. Uh, we will see if they do after a very short break. It's just going to be a few minutes. Uh, I am casting solo and in uh, dire need of a glass of water. So I'm going to get up for a moment. And uh, we will see you in the second half of Inferno. Alright, and since Wes is not back yet, I'm going to go ahead and take over until he does get back, give his voice a little bit of a break there. Um, so welcome back to the second half of Wastelanders vs. Team Rush. I am Rudy. I've been silent so far throughout, but uh, have enjoyed watching this game so far. I've been uh, paying attention to the chat there. Seems like he has some pretty strong opinions about this game so far. Um, Cheeks with a nice kill there on the Godspeed. Opening up the at least the mid peak as the team falls back and starts pushing banana. Probably gonna run into Felium here. Helium just goes down super fast. B sites wide open as Yev tries to rotate over. Probably gonna get one, maybe two here, depending on if Price can get this kill, but ultimately probably will go down. Panda's gonna peak for his teammate, and Rush is just over peaking everything right now. Um and Wes, feel free to join back in as soon as you get back. Hey, no, I was, I was giving you the reins for this round. Uh, thanks for joining us, Rudy. Thanks for covering for me. Uh, as Cheese does take down that last one. Uh, I'm glad everybody got to hear your beautiful voice at least once. Point of this stream, feel free to hop in at any point. And uh, I like the copy pasta coming through in the chat uh, uh, about weight slammers. Thank you very much. That's, uh, you know, it helps the community. It builds the community, Rudy. Um, Yes, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I, I also saw some compliments on the casting earlier on in the chat. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to reward us, just drop Manitoba Esports a follow, and uh, that will be good enough for me, man. Uh, as here is the Team Rush uh, living up to their name. I think I say it once per game that they play in. Uh, whenever they rush, it's just, it's just low-hanging fruit, but I got to do it. And they are going to get easily onto the B site. Cheek's going to plant the bomb there and get in position. Very, very difficult retake now uh, for Weight Slammers. As the SMGs will match up just fine. Price, a little bit slow on the uptake, but does manage to take down the dog in the end. And Godspeed. And, uh, ooh, they get shredded oh, coming out of construction, but they both manage to survive for Cheeks to be wide now and yes does take down godspeed with assists from price so a really nice spray actually from price there he got so much damage onto both uh players as they went around the corner beautiful work yeah and since weight slimmers did force into that round they're probably gonna see a full save here giving uh, at least team rush a sixth round here cutting that uh deficit down to six rounds yeah, yeah, exactly. So Team Rush, uh, you know, like we said, uh, they have a chance here. It's just a very slight one, but a couple of rounds in the second half will Ooh. certainly help. And there's Cheese. There's a rush coming in. And oh, they actually do take down John, 117. Jill's going back and forth, and Cheese is very good. Cool. The off does have to take down. Really nice shot there. There's no swing. And Trojan Man will be the final kill. So that's a, a little bit sweaty if you're... A, uh, if you're a Team Rush fan, but they do manage to close it out. And that is that is nice work coming through there from Cheese, especially that initial pick. That was critical to make sure uh, the Rush was softened up a little bit. Uh, make sure the Rush was more Fontina than Asiago. <laughs> as, uh, as we do see some Molotovs coming through. I got so many cheese puns, you don't even know. Um, I'm here for all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're we're just getting started. Cheese 
Huns as uh, Team Rush. Yeah, uh, Team Rush making a bit of a, uh, a win streak happen here on the T side. Sitting in mid and does get a shot down on John's feet. Oh, feeling really nice shot there coming in on cheese. That is devastating. And Trojan Man will trade that back. 4v4. Uh, continues. And they will approach mid. So we'll see if they are able to get this. There is a player in pit, but yeah, it's a 4v2. This is why uh, 4v4 favors the T side so much. Oh. There's the jump down. The dog actually takes down price, but cheeks with the, with the barrel stuff, as it were. And now down to a 3v3, but the bomb is planted. Retake coming in. It is uh, Philium who is flanking. No, it is Panda who is flanking from mid. I think they will be ready. Yeah, there's Trojan Man. Philium's going to peek. Down oh, he doesn't see the second Trojan one. Man. And he takes some damage, but does back off. So now, Panda, the only one left, they know exactly where he is. So this should be no problem to take quite a nice win this, and he will not. Yeah, Team Rush actually stringing together quite a few T-side rounds here. And, I mean, historically, we've seen them do better on the CT side. So I agreed with you yeah. going into the half that, okay, it didn't look like they had much of a chance, but... You know, they're starting to creep back into this one, stringing together four rounds. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the big things is that they're actually winning duels here. In this um, they're able to, you know, <laughs> they're able to, where where both players see each other, Team Rush is sometimes able to get the kill in this half. Uh, often, I might even say, and that just simply was not the case in the first half. So, uh, good work by Team Rush to come back. I know, um, you know, they had to sit around a while before the game started and kind of get restless and maybe that affected their nerves a bit but they have pulled it back like you said they they have more rounds uh, on this half than they got in the entirety of the first half so um definitely yeah time. and already up to like close to a respectable score line even if they do end up losing this map uh three rounds to you know six rounds really looks like a stomp once you start getting to eight or nine it's it feels like there was some sort of a now panda a price I should say. Weird peak there. Panda ready for that. Godspeed gonna help him out. That push gonna be totally shut down. Now it's gonna be a three versus three approach on the A site as those two B players hold fast for weight slammers. The uh, interesting part about this A take here is gonna be the just the weaponry though on these A players. I mean if Rush I mean, clearly they know... Oh. Well, what I was saying was that clearly they know one of the players has a deagle, but yeah. they might just be giving away this round to Waste Lammers here. Yeah, Cheese with the op uh, and, uh, and 66 HP, while Trojan with the um, AK and no utility. Oh, Cheese does go down. What a shame. And all we want to do is save that off. But there's a Trojan man running towards... He bomb site with his head down gets taken down, and that's uh, Wade Slammers finally getting one on the board in this half. Team Rush will be able to buy up just fine. She's goes for the op. The rest getting head armor and a decent amount of utility, and it is still Yevk on the SMG, and Felium actually using the AUG, which is interesting. Um, I mean, I find that to be a decent buy. If you're going to hold from pit, I mean, the AUG does make it a little bit easier to do that. Sure. Ooh, John. Wow. That's a low buy. A Molotov price takes down Panda and gets traded out. So it's a 4v4, and John117 is less than half a man here with 7 HP left. Yeah, and ultimately, he's just going to run with his tail between his legs and try to get away, but... Mm -hmm. I think Team Rush are likely going to play this one slow now that they've, you know, got a man, basically a man down and almost a second man down. And Yeah, they're going to get a 4v2 if they get into A. And the dog, a nice shot. The dog is really popping off in this map. He's hitting some quick spots. Hit that one. Trojan Man with the spray down uh, misses the kill, but does get him down to 34 HP. So 
It's gonna be a little bit dangerous for oh. the dog, but still perfect peek there. Uh, great timing on John 117 and trade him there. now gonna trade him out and gets him through the wall. He's stealing, but shoots just a little bit too early. Cheek's gonna push aggressively now. He's gonna probably get the kill. Yeah, it does get the headshot, so Bomb's gonna be able to go down, but it is a 2v2 now. Oh, someone needs to watch the flank. Cheek's on very low HP. Cheek's going to peek that, and we'll see if they're gonna be able to get these gunfights. They're not in the greatest of positions, but now Cheeks has managed to get up towards apartment, and that is going to be a much stronger position. Ooh. Trojan Man taking oh. Trojan Man with a second. Really, really nice swing around, and that's a lovely hold there by Team Rush. They're going to get their eighth. And I know we talk a lot about Cheese's opping ability, but I think uh, Trojan Man does go under the radar quite a bit on this Team Rush lineup as the secondary mm -hmm. opper for this team. Trojan Man strikes me as somewhat of like a Zipnix type player. Like he, he definitely has like he has that that clutch mentality. You see him as the last man standing a decent amount, and he definitely he's, uh, gets tagged but not killed. Yeah, I, I, you often see Trojan Man in these one v x situations, and he's won a few of them. I I, uh, I like what I've seen from him, and I agree his opping is no joke. Uh, even though I mean that. That one particular game of Dust 2 kind of cemented cheese in our hearts. Oh, absolutely. As a, as a superstar opper. But uh, in this round, it is a 4v4, but Team Rush has taken a lot of damage. And so uh, we'll see if they walk into the meat grinder on this B site. Panda and Yevk, the ones holding that down. Yeah, they do still have one smoke on them and several flashbangs and a few nades, so they could make this work, but they're going to have to be, well, more di more directed with their utility usage. Yeah, they sort of threw them haphazardly there, uh, but in the meantime, they have gotten access to the A site. Here's Felium, not sure where to look. As Cheeks is going to peek in here. Yeah, Cheeks, oh. oh, Cheeks doesn't take him down, though. He had the right idea to get a peek aggressively there as Felim wasn't quite ready, but still managed to hit the shot. Now it's Trojan Man alone, like we said before. And this time, he <laughs> caught, caught, gets caught switching out a weapon. Uh, I said he was uh, fulfilled the role of Zipnix. I didn't say he was as good as Zipnix. Uh, um, yeah, I mean... Bar, of course. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Trojan Man does get taken down there. Um, wasn't wasn't prepared for that peak. Yeah, and ultimately that reload ends up ends up uh, being the death of him because obviously they were expecting him to be in that area, but didn't fully clear the angle. Was about to move on, heard the reload, repeaked, didn't got the kill. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, right? You know, in in that situation where the, you're the only one left, do I use my last five bullets to try and get these three players, or do I risk the reload? Cheese coming in very, very aggressive. Does go oh, no. the crosshair, but Felium with two quick headshots. Lovely work. Price went to jump across. Trojan Man as well. Price with a couple of headshots to dog. Super, super low. Uh, but they turn away from the Standing on the box. So straight transfer does not go. And John 117, the only one. Panda with the flank. And toss the bomb ahead of him as he falls to his death. So, good work there from Weight Slammers. They are now on game point. And uh, Team Rush is going to have to make some sort of very, very awkward force buy work here. As they are on very low economy. Yeah, and I'm surprised we don't see John buy with only... I mean, he has 2600 bucks in his bank. I mean, yeah. he has to know that if they lose this round, they lose the map. So Yeah, so surely he is keeping track of round score, but uh, potentially... You know, he's like, well, if we win one round, we got to win more, right? Cheese Panda coming in, but this spray transfer is not going to work out this time either. The dog, the dog takes down John 117, and that's just Cheeks and Trojan Man left. Two v four situation, and the flash flashes them both, so nobody hits anything. Yeah, now we're down to a two v four situation where they know exactly where the bomb is, they're camping banana, not really any counter utility on the side of the T's. Uh, yeah, this does not look yeah. good. Yeah, 
Yeah, 1v4 here for Trojan men. This would be impressive. But even then, it would be a long way to go. Here's the dog now switching out for the AK. Trojan man getting approached from the Go down. Now they know where he is. He sees the dog. He takes him down as well. If he can get the bomb and go to B and get a plant, there is a chance here. But the dog is hot on his heels. Actually, the dog going to walk, uh, aware of the possibility that he could turn around and wait for the approach. But no, he is going to play it honest. And plant here at Fountain. And he oh, saw, he he saw must that. have seen Felium. He crouched just as Felium crossed. I'm not sure that he did. This yeah, flashbang's gonna it, turn his attention. We we saw, yeah, and you know he has to appro uh, expect them to approach from both sides, but if the mall's tough to clear out one angle, that, that's process of elimination. Helium. This is where weight slimers have to peek together. Trojan man left his back exposed. So unfortunate. It looked like it could happen there, but. It will be Weight Slammers closing out map one. Inferno goes over to Weight Slammers 16 to 8. And we will get into map two, which will be Overpass in just a